knowledge coalescing in JavaScript. I know that that kind of phrase can sound a little scary, but in this video, you're going to learn exactly what that is, how it works, and then we're also going to go over how it's different than the double bar operator in JavaScript. So what is the knowledge coalescing operator? Well, it is the double question mark operator. So two back-to-back -back question marks here. And what it is, is it's a logical operator that is going to return the right-hand side of the operator when its left-hand side is either null or undefined. But if that value on the left-hand side of the operator is anything other than null or undefined, it's just going to return whatever value is on the left-hand side of the operator, that first value. So here's how it works. On line 14, I declare a constant called y. And this is where I use my nullish coalescing operator. So what it's going to do is it's going to first check whatever is on the left-hand side of the operator here. So what's on the left-hand side here? The value of zero. And it's going to check, is that null or undefined? If it is null or undefined, then it's going to return whatever's on the right-hand side of the operator. So it's basically doing a null or undefined check. And if that's true, return whatever is on the right-hand side. But if this is not null or undefined, it's just going to return this first value here. So in this example, what do you think that y is going to be assigned to when I console log y? Well, it's not null or undefined here, so it's just going to return whatever is on the left-hand side of the operator. And here you can see y gets assigned to 0 because 0 is not null or undefined. But if I change this to null here, you're going to see it is now going to be falsy. Because since it's null or undefined, it returns whatever's on the right-hand side of this operator. And if I change this value to undefined, I'm going to get the same thing, falsy. But if I change this to the value of false, then it's just going to return false. Because false is not null or undefined. And you can see it gets assigned to false. And then same thing if I do an empty string here. It's just going to return an empty string because an empty string is not null or undefined. All right. Now, how is this different than the double bar operator in JavaScript? Well, as you can see, this double question mark operator, it only checks for null or undefined. Whereas the double bar operator in JavaScript, this operator right here on line 22, it's going to check if a value is falsy or not. So it's going to check the left-hand side of the operator, and it's going to ask, okay, is this a falsy value? If it is falsy, return whatever is on the right-hand side of the operator. But if it is a truthy value, then return just the first value, whatever is on the left-hand side of the operator. And these are also technically called operands. So this is the left-hand side operand, and this is the right-hand side operand. You might hear that from time to time. So if I run this code, what do you think X is going to be assigned to? Well, since zero is a falsy value in JavaScript, then X gets assigned to the value of falsy, the right-hand side of the operator. And this is going to be true if I assign this to false here. We're still going to get falsy. Or an empty string, that is also a falsy value in JavaScript. So it's going to be falsy. But if I assign this to an actual string value, then you're going to see it just returns that string value. All right. So in JavaScript, the nullish coalescing operator is the double question mark operator, and it's going to check the left hand side of the operator. And it's going to ask, OK, is this value null or undefined? If that's true, return whatever is to the right hand side of the operator. But if it is not null or undefined, then return whatever's on the left-hand side of the operator. And this can prevent some bugs in JavaScript where people just use this double bar operator to check if something is falsy, but in reality, they actually don't care if a value is zero or if a value is an empty string. That might be totally fine. And it might lead to bugs by returning a value different than they think in those situations. So this nullish coalescing operator can kind of fix some of those bugs by just checking for null or undefined, whereas the double bar operator, it's going to check for a falsy value on this left-hand side. And if it's falsy, it's going to return whatever's to the right-hand side. 
but if it is a truthy value, it's just going to return whatever's to the left-hand side of the double bars. So that is the Nullish Coalescing Operator in JavaScript. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in that next one.